What is up guys, it's your boy back and welcome back to another New World video. So, three days ago the devs announced that they are going to give another chance to the players to check out the latest update, upcoming updates they are going to get soon. You can test this into the public test realm once again. So the first major update to the PTR will include tons of holidays festival temp content as well as more quest features and PvP changes. This PTR will include Eternal's holiday of winter coverages bringing snow to unlikely unlikely places to the world and making the northern lights present in the sky and above so this is really good visual update i'm not sure if we're going to get more fps drops than we were before in the towns i, ho I hope i hope don't i hope we don't but that's yet to see you will also find winter villages set up in major territories when you can complete quests for gifts so, uh, but it's not all positive, as you can see. Also, you can find ice caves appearing in Eternum with their own unique enemies that you can take on. You also find handful of side story quests available in territories that resolve around winter coverages. Events, it's like events to complete. Alongside with new content, this update has added some big changes to the New World's Endgame. So the high watermark has now been renamed to expertise, which can be seen within your inventory to help track your progress. This is really good bef because before I didn't know what my watermark was. So I had to scroll down to all the gear and check what was my highest gear score item. So I can find out that my watermark is like, let's say 520 or 530, it doesn't matter. Also, gypsum has been added to the game. This is a resource that can be acquired for daily activities and crafted into casts of weapons, armors, or trinkets that guarantee an expertise buff. So, get gypsum, finish quest, get more gypsum, craft them, put it in your weapon, and you get watermark buff, or as in now, expertise. There's also a pair of new in game. POIs now added that will offer more difficult challenges for the players and chance of fighting elite chests. Malevolence and Imperial Palace have also increased their difficulty to level 66, which is a lot when you see that the highest level in this game for your character is level 60. Finally, the PTR has now added more rewards for those who use trade skills and that have been handful of changes to the pvp gameplay you can i will uh drop down in the description the whole ptr patch notes down here if you can check for yourselves guys also uh, one thing that I didn't mention here is that um if you buy a little um if you buy item that has let's say 600 gear score 580 in your war mark or as in now expertise is 520 when you equip that item that item would drop down to your war mark it actually scales down and the item then again will not scale up i i know how to feel about this change they are trying to make something good in the long run but for players that have like me which actually recently i bought high gear score items now they will drop down to my water mark which is like 515 or 520 but i spent money for 518 gear score so it's kind of bad for me but not for the new players that will come out that are below my level so that was it for today's guys hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye